respect of the Chicago style wrestling fans, I definitely believe that Chris believes that he can compete with the best that Chicago style wrestling has to offer. And the stranger deal with Corey on is hurt people, he's strangled people, he's injured them, he's he's ended their careers, and I think he would like nothing more than put Prison's name along the, the long list of people he's hurt and try to retire from this business. Earlier, as the stranger was approaching the ringside area, you might have noticed that the fans getting on Diego's case, they were plucking like chickens, and some of the children around ringside were definitely having their fun, and personally the stranger as well, making fun and making light of their hands. Somehow, Christian thought his way into the middle of the, that second turnbuckle on the far side, and uh, he's been absolutely obliterated here by the grizzled, well-tested veteran of the Strangler. This is smart. That drop kick, the Strangler lands on the outside of the ring, and fortunately, he avoids landing on this uh, front row of fans here. Star Wrestling is that it's getting bigger and over time we're expanding and you know, we're taking this show on the road to places it's never been since we're all in order today and we're going to be all over the place talking about Addison, Bergen, A. We're talking about Fort Wayne, Indiana. I mean, yeah, Fort Indiana. The Fort Indiana. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. We're going to be all over the road. We're taking this show on the road. Chicago Star Wrestling. Right, you're doing a good job on your own. All that, especially like Corbin A, which is so far from Chicago. That's just all the more exposure for wrestling. Like myself, Chris Strangler, Gerard Banks, Mike Craig, Bunny Spears. 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 Gerard Banks,
fun by this sometimes. Five minutes! The best champions in the world in Chicago Spa Wrestling. Not the kind that stirred up the championship defenses by buying off referees and having them uh, jam their fist into their mood section, if you know what I'm saying. I mean, talk about something that Two days there. Uh, I don't know that couple. Well, I, I don't think any of uh, these fans have uh, followed that much either. Our action is second to nobody. In fact, the Strangler again with that roundhouse kick to the head and close the neck. You know, I think the Strangler might eventually be wearing him down for possibly that uh, cobra punch like submission maneuver or his devastating neck breaker. He's got a number of vicious finishing maneuvers that he uses to polish off his opponents. But that line, if Prism is truly ready, then how is he going to defeat the Strangler? Knowing full that he's had that careers and he's hurt people. Our, our performers are larger than life characters. I mean, every time they step in the ring, they put their bodies on the line, but they entertain these fans first and foremost on every twist and turn. Is there a difference between a beautiful turn and a Go maybe just a little bit too far, but maybe that's just my personal honest opinion. And that sort of uh, advice would definitely uh, get the eyebrows raised of one Jesse the Body Ventura, who used that motto almost entirely his entire wrestling career, and not only that, outside of his wrestling career in the political arena as well. Both right hands were very weak. He was trying to hit the toy to of the strangler, but he couldn't get his right hand up. Oh, the strangler just straddled himself in the middle row. I don't think the strangler can get his right hand up. Uh, I think he likes it a little bit too. Sometimes he really likes this kind of pain. Oh, well, the strangler's hung up and ready to try. Well, he, he might have hurt himself in the chicken nuggets. Take his good old sweet time beating the living daylights out of this young man. 